What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And today I want to talk about one thing that I really didn't touch on yesterday in my Black Ops reveal, uh, Black Ops Cold War reveal video. If you have not seen it, I will pop it up in the top corner right now. But that is one of the developers talked about how they were changing the statistics on the weapons when you attach uh, any attachment in the game onto that particular weapon. Uh, as you know right now, and the way it has been, I guess, in past Call, uh, Call of Duty titles, is that when you put an attachment on, it will show you know a little bar there for range, handling, accuracy, that kind of thing. Uh, but it really doesn't give you any kind of numbers. It's just that little bar that's a lot of people probably don't really pay attention to very often. Uh, in this game, uh, in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, they're actually going to show percentages. So it's going to show a positive or negative effect for that attachment onto that weapon. So just for an example, like if you put an attachment on, let's take something from Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare. You know, right now it'll show the weapon, it, it will give you better accuracy, but a slower, you know, ADS or handling speed. Instead of just showing that bar, it's going to actually show that positive for the, you know, positive for the accuracy, but the negative, you know, for like the handling speed or the ADS, if it actually has a negative effect on the weapon. I find this to be pretty interesting because if these stats are correct and with the ability to have all the wild cards in game and put seven to eight attachments on a gun, if you would prefer uh, to use that type wild card, I think you'll be able to build a very good weapon depending on what you're wanting to do. If you're wanting to run and gun, have something that is very quick to pull up, you know, something you run around with and just kind of mow people down up close, you'll have that option. If you want to build a weapon that's uh, just kind of a laser beam, like a turret from a uh, distance from range, you'll be able to do that as well. I'm going to be kind of interested, uh, interested to see how this works out in the beta because it does sound very powerful in a lot of people's minds. I've seen comments about this saying between, you know, the ability to already have five attachments, uh, just base attachments in game, and then you have the option of the wild cards to add more attachments. And now you're going to be able to see the exact stats. And if they are correct, I think you'll be able to build a very good weapon just overall. It's going to make it kind of different, uh, a different experience in game. You're going to have a different uh, style weapon builds depending on your play style which does give people a lot of freedom for the kind of the way they want to play. And it's something a little bit different because, like I said, I don't think most people pay attention to that bar uh, when it just shows stats in most Call of Duty games. You know, people just put on what they like and then kind of go from there. But with this, you're actually going to be able to see the physical numbers. And like I said, if they are correct, uh, yeah, I'm sure this is going to be tested a lot once the game is released. But if they are correct, they do show the right thing. I think this could be a big game changer for the game just in general. Also, the developers talked about it will make it easier for them to adjust and tune weapons, which I find kind of interesting considering they're saying, you know, it almost sounded like they were saying, well, we're, we were not able to adjust or tune weapons as easily before, but now with this we can. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see how that's going to work out. If that is the case and it's easier for them to adjust and tune weapons, I'm hoping you're going to see more uh, kind of variety when it comes to the game uh, weapon wise whether it be in the pro league or like if you're just playing in public matches because as we all know most people get into the game when they play call of duty and there's a couple weapons that are very popular and that's what everybody seems to use i'm hoping with all these different attachments with the gunsmith kind of option like we have here in modern warfare and the ability to see all the different statistics on some of these weapons a lot of people might try to go with some other guns just to test them out and being able to see the different numbers that these weapons are going to have on them with each attachment might want, might make people run other guns that they would not normally run. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. If you'd like to hit the like, if you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know all my videos go live. And be sure to check everything down in the description, GT Racing, the Community Discord, and my Twitter. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.